Well, what's going on YouTube fam? Today I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at your 2022 Jordan 12. These are the playoffs. Uh, before I get into the review and go over the kicks, if you're new to my channel, it's your first time just kind of stumbling across one of my videos, thank you, man. Thank you for taking out some time to drop by, check out one of my videos. While I have you here, do me a huge favor, hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell for me if you don't mind. That way, when I upload new material, post new content, anything like that, you'll get notified. Then you can head to the channel. You can check out the latest video that I uploaded for you guys. If you're on social media like Twitter, uh, Instagram, you can find me on there as well. And you give me a follow at I am TMCII. So if you're on social media, like kicks and outfits and all that stuff, give me a follow on there. And uh, lastly, hit the thumbs up. That's a motivator, an indicator, lets me know that you guys enjoy my content and it just kind of motivates me to want to keep taking out time to record these videos whenever I have a new pickup. So if you enjoy the content, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button for me. It goes a really long way. All right guys, so now that that intro is out of the way, let's dive right into these. So like I mentioned, these are the playoff 12s and it seems like the, there's not much hype or buzz around these. Uh, maybe because there were like a ton of pairs. Uh, I was on the sneakers app. I want to say like maybe 30, 33, 35 minutes after the release. Uh, Cause I was on the fence, honestly. Cause I still have my uh, pair that released in 2012. And I was like, do I really need these? My 2012 pair was a little bit on the big side. I got the wrong size. Uh, so I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and try anyway. So like I said, 33 minutes, 35 minutes after the release on the sneakers app. I got in line and boom, I ended up getting them. So they must've had a ton of pairs of these on the sneakers app. Cause like I said, I got in line like extremely late. It wasn't a draw or anything. And I was still able to get my, my pair, my size and everything. So the playoff 12 and probably um, the black and red 12s are probably like my favorite ones. I don't know, there's, I don't know. These are, these are definitely up there, like my top two or three. And um, once I saw that these were coming back out, you know, they hadn't been back out since 2012. I mean, they had the pairs, the wings where you could rub the stuff off and have the gold wings under there. I really don't count those. Uh, but since like the regular OG 12 and playoff 12s, like this is the first time we got them back since 20, 2012. Um, so this was like a, a on my radar, but I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't really stress if I missed out on them. Cause like I said, I have the pair from 2012. They turn in colors and stuff. And I'm gonna do a comparison also to show you guys the difference between that pair and this pair. Uh, so like I said, this was one on the read. I wouldn't have been mad if I missed, but since I was able to cop for retail, I'm not complaining. So I'm gonna go over the material, show you guys the material first. So you got that nice grain of tumbled leather throughout the entire upper of the shoe. And you got that two, three for MJ's number on the tongue, tumbled leather on the tongue with the jump man uh the 12s to me comfort wise probably the most comfortable retro if we talk about the retros that mj played in uh and i'll go over sizing and comfort towards the end of the video by the way so stick around for that so you guys could check that out um but here you go man you got all the different kind of leathers on the shoe i'm gonna go over quality control as well uh because i did some like a quick over overview and a little glance at my pair and, and overall qc i'm not too upset or mad seemed like they did decent with the quality control at least on my pair um as far as you know like other materials and stuff like that just mainly have that that leather full upper and you have this outsole and this midsole and it's white and this is extremely hard to clean at least it was on the 2012s like when this start turning colors and get dirty on you like it don't just come right off and like it's a funny material that this is made out of this part also like this little foam right here this part really start turning colors on you and it's really hard to clean once this get dirty and messed up i'm not sure the materials or the, the chemicals inside the, the paint or whatever this is that they've used on this part all on here uh but these two are like really hard to clean to clean and have it gleaming white like this once you clean it no matter what you use i don't care what kind of uh, product you use or advertise or sell or promote uh, it's just really hard to clean those like you have to almost paint this back white like use actual paint to get it back this color once like they're officially dirty and messed up um, and I'll show you guys that when I do the comparison video with the uh, 2012 pair uh, so here you guys go man just want to show you guys a quick look at the shoes come to the inside they got that black insole with the red jump man on both shoes um, Nothing else too special about that. Got the famous slogan on the back. Who is uh, quality inspired by. 
MJ himself, the best to ever do it. Uh, I'm pretty much, that's pretty much it for the shoes, man. I'm sure a lot of people did reviews and you guys seen these. This is like a fan favorite. I'm happy like a lot of people who missed out on these in 2012 or Pez were just shot and beat or they outgrew or whatever, able to get these back. So I'm happy to see Jordan Brand bringing back some classics. I just wish we get the Cherry 12s. It's been forever since we got the Cherry 12s and that's probably like my number one. That Cherry 12 is just amazing to me. And we haven't had a retro on that shoe in, in forever. Uh, so coming to quality control, overall Q QC was decent. Some glue marks, some little marks on my pair. Is It isn't anything too noticeable, especially from afar. Once I toss these on feet, you guys really won't be able to see some of the glue and the minor um, little imperfections that I have on my pair. You guys won't really be able to see it. It's not, not too bad. I won't, you know, not too much to complain about. Seemed like they did a pretty okay uh, job on these to say that they were mass produced like they were. Cause I know they had to have a ton of pairs of these. So that's it for the kicks. I'm gonna show you guys the box. So you got like that OG Nike box. Uh, I don't believe we had the Jumpman on that. I think they had the regular Nike on the box on the true OGs when these dropped back in the nineties. Uh, but here's the label. This is your product code, your color breakdown. That QC, you can scan with your phone, open up the regular Nike app, uh, open up, no special tissue or anything. Got that brown paper tissue, same kind of cardboard coloring uh, as the inside of the box. Here are the kicks one more time. Uh, I'm gonna take them off here in a second and show you guys what they look like on feet. But before I do, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of these. If you cop, if you pass, if you're waiting to go back and get them or whatever, usually reply back to you guys when you guys leave me comments. Uh, if I don't reply like exactly to what you say to me in the comments, I'm gonna hit the thumbs up or the heart button next to your comment just to let you know that I saw it. So uh, toss me a comment down at the bottom and I'm gonna go ahead and toss these on feet to show y'all what they look like on feet. All right guys, here's a quick look at the playoff 12s from 20, 2022. Just wanna show y'all what they look like real quick on feet. Uh, we jump right into sizing, go over how these fit to me and how I like my shoes. So that is, uh, uh, I go down a half size. I, I just jump straight off with that. I have like a medium to somewhat narrow foot. I like a snug exact fit on my kicks. I mentioned I got these back in 2012 and I got, uh, I went true to size and they feel like there was a little bit roomy on me. So for when I saw that these were coming back out, I'm glad I had the opportunity to go down a half size and seem like the fit is still the same from back then, but they fit me much better going down a half size. If you don't like that snug exact fit like I do, Go true to size and I think you'll be perfectly fine. If you have wide feet, I think you could go true to size and you'll be good. Even if you like a snug fit or maybe want a little bit of room in your shoes, you may want to consider going up a half size, but I think going true to size in 12s, you'll be good to go. Uh, for as comfort goes, like I said earlier, I believe that the 12 and all of the, the Jordan models that MJ actually played in, probably the most comfortable shoe to me. The 12s are really, really comfortable. 12s and 13s are comfortable, but I think the 12s are probably like the most comfortable retro that MJ played in, uh, to me at least. Uh, so here you guys go. I won't ramble too much more. I just wanna show y'all what they look like on feet. As I mentioned earlier, if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell for me. I have more videos to record. I have more kicks on the way and more things to share with you guys. But until then, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna end it here. And I'm gonna see you guys on the next video. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate each and uh, every one of you, but I'm gonna end it here. I'll see you guys later. All right, guys, see you later. Peace.